there's first off new things that have uh, have been added not much the horsepower I don't think they'll you know that makes much of a difference you know previous years they've already bumped up the horsepower and that really didn't much do much uh, change but you know there's other features that uh, were brought into from the GT350 and other cars like the Camaro you know um, first off let me start off by saying if all of you if some of you guys that are Ford fans or even if you're not you know we all know that the 2016 Mustang or you know the Ford Mustang the S550 model whenever it hit the uh, UK market and amongst other countries you know it just went up in uh, statistics whereas it came out to where Mustang was the best selling sports car in the world. Now, I'm not saying that it's the best car in the world. No, it, it was the best selling sports car in the world. You know, and that brought up the Mustang market, you know, worldwide, dramatically. And I feel that once that happened, most people in the UK going for the GTs and we all know the GTs are more expensive than Ecos so you know that just I think you know um, brought it into a perspective where let's bump up the price why not I mean ever since the Camaro came out we all know that the Camaro have, has always been more expensive than uh, the Mustang, uh, no matter what, as far as options. And there's a lot of things you can, you can add uh, to the Camaro, and now these certain options are also going to be available with the Mustang. You know, like, for, for example, the dual-mode exhaust, or the multi-mode exhaust, that was only available in uh, the Camaro and the GT350. Now it's going to be available with the regular Mustang. Now, the Magna Ride. You know, it was also always available in the Camaro. Now, and now with the GT350, and now the regular Mustang. Things like this, you know, brought up the price, performance package, the automatic. You know, sooner or later, this automatic transmission is going to be uh, available in the, in the Camaro, which will, for sure, probably jump up the price as well. So, you know. I think that's this is where Ford said, you know what? Let's bump up the prices on all these options. Make it an optional uh, equipment on the new Mustang, and ultimately it jumped up the price to a steep fifty-five thousand dollar price tag if you option it all out. Whereas before, maybe in the mid forties, you could get a really optioned out Mustang GT Coupe. And this is where I'm. This is uh, this is uh, pricing out a coupe, not a convertible. We know convertibles. Uh, I've seen some up in the north 40s, uh, close to the 50,000 dollar range, as a regular GT coupe. But you know, I think this is where Ford said, you know what, the hell of it, the hell with it. Let's uh, let's bump up the price. And um, I think even though for the consumer, for us that are know going to be in the market for one of those um, you know it sucks but this is what it's come down to you know yeah, I think that even with uh, with this new options and the new 10 speed automatic as you all know it's on the ZL1 you know the sh the shift speed of these uh, of this transmission is quite 
so I don't know how pricing is going to change for that I don't think they released any numbers at all for that but you could only imagine it's gonna hit like maybe the GT350 price tag uh, regular GT350 that is so it's crazy and I think it's just you could you can already uh, get an idea on the price tag of the new big thing you know the new Cobra the new GT500 whatever the name is going to be for the new Shelby that's gonna come out so I think uh, this this is where this is my two cents I'm not saying that this is why it uh, was priced so high but I think uh, this is right about why uh, Ford decided to bump up the price. You know, the Camaro was already expensive. Why not bump up the price? If they already know, hey, our market has expanded substantially. Why not just bump up the price? We already have customers worldwide that are lining up for this kind of car. And everybody's going for the GT Coupe. Let's bring up the price. Why not, right? In a business kind of way, I guess. Okay, yeah, fuck it. It's gonna, it's gonna help them a lot. But as a consumer, it's it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Now to the next question of the of the video: Will I ever buy one? Uh, yeah. Why not? I mean, the car is pretty good. Will I ever buy one new? No. I think uh, for me, I would wait for uh, for one to hit the used car market. Ever, uh, which I'm pretty sure it is, um, you know, and take it from there. I mean, I, I would make somebody else take the hit. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get the the options that I wanted at the car that I uh, at the color that I want, but you know, I would go for it, especially with that 10 speed automatic. I won't go with any other kind of transmission. I would like to feel uh, that 10 speed, and, and 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 to be honest, it would be a car. That I'd buy to modify. You know, the R that I have, I, I didn't buy it to modify it. That's just straight out. I'm not going to modify that car at all. It's, that's not in the plan. But this car, if I own one, yeah, definitely, definitely would buy it, modify the fuck out of it for sure. But that's my two cents, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you all. Thank you all for watching the video. I'm sorry if I bored you guys to death. But that's what I think. And, um, yeah. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like, uh, give it a like, please, to the, uh, the video. And uh, catch you guys next time.